Hey chat, welcome back. Good to see you all here for the furthest of frontiers, farthest frontier. Welcome back. Uh, thank you very much everybody for tuning in and hanging out. Welcome to all you awesome subscribers. Welcome to all you members. Welcome to all the viewers. Hope you're all enjoying your day so far and more importantly, your big O weekend. Oh yeah, baby. Let's scoot over here. Bye. And let's bring the farthest frontier on screen. There we go. Cool. All right. Now, let's jump back to our settlement from the other day and continue on trucking with our brand new city. Raptoria Heights, I believe, on the hardest difficulty for farthest frontier. This game is a banger. Certainly a lot of fun. Bum, 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 bum. Anyway, once in the chat for the number one community out there, don't forget to say hello. Don't forget to smash that like button. You guys are awesome. Welcome to everybody. Yeah, back to Raptoria again we go. True. 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 Uh, here we are again. Pretty times. Back to the city. Alright, so it's been... Uh, oh yeah, so the last time we played this, we got a ton of wolf meat from the north and the south where wolves are out, out on the prowl. So we made a bunch of hunters to try to defend against the constant invasions and whatnot. So it's good times. 
At least we'll have plenty of meat in the town, that's for sure. We're building a graveyard over there. We had somebody die of rabies, one of our legendary hunters. And it looks like we're starting to finally make some money uh, for our night soil operations. All the way over here. That should be good. Let's see. Uh, how are we doing on population? Looks like we're going to need some more houses soon, too. But we got to keep flattening out land. I, oh, we're building a house there, so... That'll be fine. That's just fine. Let's try to flatten that out. Oh, you're six, so that means we're into spring again. Well, let's bring the... Uh, what is it? Alt F? No, is it Control F2? Yeah, for the frames. Okay. So the game's working at about 70 frames right now. Not bad. Not bad indeed. And we're building additional graveyards. Uh-oh. Wolves are on the prowl again. Yep. We're going to keep hunting wolves for a long time. That gives us a pretty reliable food source. Wow, we've almost, we've got over a year of uh, of food. Oh no. Our first fire. Imagine that. It's one of the uh, one of the smokehouses. That's right. There's a well nearby. Go people, go go. You have a potato computer so you get about 6 frames per second. This game uh, is actually quite better now. Well, it went from unplayable to Playable, in my opinion, with the recent updates, but uh, good times. Yeah, the smokehouse went up in smoke. True. True. All right. Well, now that it's spring, we can continue on building. Where's our night soil guy? Slacking off over there. Let's go, bro. I don't want to build it in the city. I want to build it outside the city. Doesn't crash like it did before for you? Yeah, I didn't have any of those problems, but... I mean, any time that a developer you know, makes a game where it doesn't crash and fixes major issues like that, that's a, a good thing. I love this valley that we're in, by the way. If anybody wants to play it, uh, the seat is at the bottom here. 95Charlie2773 Bravo uh, is at 659. And we're on version 8.1A. So that could actually matter when it comes to seeds in the future. But I'm also playing on the hardest difficulty as well, which I don't know if that changes things for how the landscape's set up, but I don't think so. Bye. All good. The night soil guy's doing his job. Fantastic. Oh, also, we found a ton of gold around here, too. There's, like, gold everywhere. And there's a lot of it. So, eventually, we're going to have to clear out those wolves. They're going to have to... You're going to have to get out of here. There's money to be made, pal. I needs that, I needs that money. I want it. It's good stuff. All right. And hopefully, we have a builder build this house soon. What are they up to? We have four builders and ten laborers. That's good. Night Soil is a great name for an 80s hair metal band cover. Wow. You're not wrong. Eventually we're going to move all these buildings though further west. So there's actually some pretty good flat space here. Yeah, Big Money with Souk will come in as soon as we build our first trader. That's going to be soon too. This guy can't work. He's missing fish and or meat. Oh, well, there comes the meat. I feel like we should do a fisher. I want to do like a little uh, berry farm soon, though. Like a little area around the gathering huts for that. Or the forger shacks. Let's go ahead and start a, a blueberry farm, finally. Although... Maybe I shouldn't, because these two are out gathering somewhere else. We'll build a we'll build a forger shack just for blueberries. Wow, there's coal there too. Jeez, man. 
That's why I love them mountains. What's up, Tan? Welcome to the Big O stream. A little iron ore there. 500's not really too much. Also, I authorized the cutting down of a billion trees over there. Because we're going to need wood, baby. You want me to call it Blueberry Hill? Oh, chat would like that. I don't want to build a berry farm inside town, though. Oh, the leaves. Oh. You bought Tortuga because of the streams? Awesome, Thomas. And you're watching from South America. Welcome aboard. Or oh, you're you're working in South America. Well, thank you very much for watching. Tortuga was a lot of fun. I wanted to play that one more, but I'll go back to it sometime. Tortuga was... Uh, it was really... For a game that has a lot of strategy and like a lot of micromanaging, it was also very chill to just like... You, could, you know, you could fast travel between your pirate ports, but it's like it was so pretty to look at what, why, you know? Like, it was so nice to just look at the world. All right, I think we're going to build a blueberry farm over here. And chat's right. We'll call it Blueberry Hill. We'll build a forger all the way out here. little shack at the top of the hill and then we'll start moving those bushes exclamation point blueberries These are going to be Bob Ross, indeed, when we get all these blueberry bushes set up. More blueberries. Wow, that's a beautiful little uh, rock face there, like a cliff. Very pretty. So this will deal with our scurvy for the next few years if we don't... We have so much meat from all the wolves attacking that we need to make sure we've got berries and mushrooms and... Well, we're getting greens, too, from our gathering huts, which is cool. check that out sorry Chad I, I, I was just reading an email I got something getting access to something early but I need to reply to them to figure it out can't tell you what it is though and no it is not Hogwarts Legacy it is Half-Life 3 which is also a lie Chad you know what I want to be a uh, you know what I want a remake of I want I want a handcrafted remake from the ground up 
including recasting of all the voice actors and everything else. No online garbage, no, you know, no, no AI trying to do it. Make up for the, the evil that you did earlier, Rockstar, by making Bully. Remake Bully. And then give us Bully too. No, it's not Broken Hero either, no. I wish. All right, blueberry farms are looking nice. Build site needs to be cleared of obstructions. Okay, they're cutting down a tree. I wonder why, I still wonder why blueberry bushes can be moved, but not hawthorn. Well, Okay, now we finally have enough materials for the town hall upgrade. We'll deal with that in a little bit. I think we, do we just get the population limit for that? I forget when it unlocks. Bum, bum, bum. Bully, you've never heard of that game? Uh, it came out in 2006 for, like, PlayStation. It was, uh... Well, that, see, that's why it needs a remake. Such a good game. A remake's a good way to bring a good title to people who hadn't played it, and... To, uh, it's, it's, it's actually quite smart. Hopefully we get a Metal Gear remake as well. Apparently it's gonna be rumored to be announced in May. We'll see. Okay, we'll have them gather blueberries and eggs, too. It's going to be the breakfast hut. We'll call that the breakfast club, actually, because blueberries for the pancakes, eggs for breakfast. Uh, we need a lot more wood in the town, too. But they're cutting it down. Everything takes time. All right, let's advance to tier two. Finally, town is now tier two. Or at least it will be when they upgrade the town center. Nice. A medium garden. I want them to be able to change what it looks like. Yeah, 90s, 90 FPS, yeah. That's working. We'll build that there. Don't be spendy, but it'll be worth it. Get that desirability up. I haven't played the Final Fantasy VII Remake on PC, but it's probably better. Probably got 60 frames per second. Oh. Wolf is dead again. Okay, so we've authorized a ton of trees to be cut down. Wow, we got 16 months worth of food. Awesome. And we shut that one down for now. We need to find some more blueberries.
Okay, we'll keep scouting in all directions. Oh, nice. This person has a long travel time, but that'll get shorter as the city grows and we build a town nearby. What's up, Stefano? How you doing, man? Welcome to the big, oh, big, big stream. The village is being raided. I'm not even going to worry about that at all. The hunters will be... Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. They're going to have to deal with the wolves. Oh, yeah. The wolves already killed one of them. Unless it was our hunter. Damn. She just killed... Okay. Raid right over. Wow. Party of five is attacking. Party of five, your death is ready. Raider, party of five, your death is ready. Yannick, thanks for the two. Thank you very much. Let's get some hype and chat. Hashtag Yannick. Show him some love. Let's go. Thank you very much for the support. All right, town hall's getting upgrades. As soon as that's done, we're on to building new stuff, which means we could probably start with a hospital, aka healer's hut, and a school. And we just had two people born. Oh, boy. Two new babies. Two babies. Heard somebody attacking a bear. Could have been there. It looks like it was damaged. Damaged. Four out of the five people raiding got killed. Wow. That doesn't seem very well thought out. You love how many city builders I play? I agree. They're always fun to play. Always. Mm, dehydration. Interesting. You live across the street from a well. That has 300 water. <laughs> there, you live across the street from a well, and it's full of water. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Oh boy. It's like laying in the kitchen under your, like you know, next to the counter where the sink is, and just being like, I'm dehydrated. It's like, um, well, you're gonna have to stand up, and no. Uh, Raptor, don't forget the Builders of Greece demo will be February 6th, confirmed by the devs. Oh, good. But it is a playtest now that you can access and like get get access to right away if anybody wants to play it. Oh, that's cool. A little flower box there. You can lead a person to a well, but you can't force them to drink. It's true. You know what I'm seeing a lot of? I'm seeing a lot of uh, people making videos or really live streamers talking about how they're making videos of their... A funny moment will happen in a game, and they'll make a clip of it, and it'll be like a 30-second you know, highlight or a clip or something, and their face will be at the top of the clip. Below their face, it'll say game, and then they'll be saying, like, farthest frontier. And then below, 
the video will play and then the comment sections are just littered with what game is this it's got to be a meme now there's no way that people could be visibly watching something and not see the word game colon and the name of game it can't it can't be true like you you can lead a viewer to a video but you can't tell them what game it is it's like no <laughs> like you you made visual contact with content but avoided the what the name of it was but then rushed to the comments like who's going to reply to you with what the name is Like if you if you won't I think the problem with that one is, is if you won't read what's on the screen if somebody replies to you what the name is you're not going to read that either. So there's no way to know. It's like, you know, you sit down for dinner and you're like, "How does this food taste?" And it's like, well, you'd ask your friend next to you, but you're not you're just going to have to eat it to know for yourself. It's like, "Oh, it tastes good." Huh? Oh, I haven't tasted it. Well, you got to taste it. Then you're going to have to eat some of that food. What food is this? It's an apple. How does it taste? Tastes like an apple. You're going to have to eat it. Like, I can't explain it to you. You're going, you're going to have to take the risky plunge of eating an apple. Just one bite. <laughs> it tastes like chicken. <laughs> yeah, exactly, chat. Tastes like chicken. Mmm. All them herbs and species. We'll have to start trademarking his sarcasm. Dude, that's uh, that's true. It's the truth. People won't won't read. Like you, some people are gonna go to a car lot looking at cars, and then it'll you know right. They'll be like you know twenty nine thousand nine ninety written onto the windshield of the car in gargantuan numbers with like neon pink. How much is this? Uh, it's twenty nine nine ninety. Oh, how much? I don't read, I don't listen. It's it's almost like, you know, hear no evil, speak no evil. It's just, see no evil, it's just like, now. but now apply that to information. Speak no information, see no information, hear no information. But just ask questions. Just show up and, eh, ooh. Actually, there are some entire jobs that are dedicated to that. You just, you show up and ask a bunch of questions and then nothing gets done. It's called a YouTube employee. That's right. What do you think of the platform? You guys could do better. Here's a list of things that uh, probably a massive majority of the people who make stuff for this website and watch this uh, content uh, would agree with. Oh, okay. I'm going to throw it right into the trash can. We're in charge now. Hold my hand, spoon feed me basic information I could find myself. No, 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 no. Spoon feeding, that's way too difficult. That would imply opening the jaw and or possibly chewing or the action of, like, swallowing. And that takes, like, at least one calorie. I think what we need is an IV drip now, directly in, like, intravenous. We need, we need directly into the veins. Remove all barriers and obstacles, like just photosynthesis. Don't don't eat, don't drink anymore. That that takes too much time. Like once you eat, it takes time for the stomach to breathe. Not enough time. Not, that's too much time for, for that to take. It's got it straight into the veins. Oh god, rabies. Well, it happens. Lolled red. <laughs> what are up with these hunter names? Last time it was Derpina, and now it's Lol. <laughs> Lolled red. Bro, every one of our hunters have hilarious names. What is going on in this game? Like, we may as well have just dank meme be the... Uh, who? I'm going to click on a random person to see. Are these just like Kickstarter names? Netta? Okay. D there it is! D Derp Ella again. You got to be kidding me. Derp Ella's back, y'all. You got to be kidding me. I literally just said that and there it is. You, you Come on. Come on, that can't be serious. Come on, let me click a random person. Who who are we gonna get next? Bro, bro, men, dude, Chattington. Come on, man. 
We we got a Chad in the town now. You gotta be kidding. What are these names? Thoman. Okay, that's a, that's a decent name. Geralt. Okay, of Rivia. Let me find another random. Alun. Okay, that's that's fine. And Enri. And Rihanna? Okay, that's a good one. Roka. Those are good names. But just like Chad Emote is literally one of the people's names. Just Keck W and Chad Emote. Like, who the hell is writing these names for this game? I I'm just trying to find more people in the town just so I can click on them just to find their names. Okay, there's Thoman again. Alun. Es Eslana? That's a nice name. Eslana. Lyric. Okay, these are fine. Okay, alright. Some of these names are alright. I think they've added more character portraits, too. Although I'm not sure. I usually don't pay attention except for when uh, the guy who looks like... Um, <laughs> uh, looks like Tom Cruise from The Last Samurai pops up. At this point, they may as well just start naming the people with just memes. Like, when you click on somebody, it just it's just a picture, like, you know, like a doge or something like that. Oh, God, that's going to be somebody's name soon, too, in the game. Doge is just going to be a name. Alright, we gotta build more houses. And now our town hall is finally tier 2. Fantastic. And now we can start building tier 2 buildings. So we can do... Granaries and wagon shops and stuff. I think we can do trading finally too. Festival pole, nice. Oh no, rats are already a thing in this game at tier 2. Well, we may as well put a healer's house down. That's going to cost a pretty penny, but alright. Oh, it also takes 20 clay. Well, I'll still put it down, just so we can at least get it on the screen. And then we need clay pit there. That's not a bad amount of clay. 1,700 like that? That's quite a bit. And there's probably some others nearby. How many people are free? Oh... We need more, like, unemployed people in the town before I build new stuff. Because we need to keep a lot of people cutting down trees. Nice little town. I agree. That's one of the things that uh, I never get bored of in this game, is the uh, amount of... Yeah, all the times that we've restarted, the, the beginning of the town is nice. Oh, that person died of rabies, finally. Our hunter. Uh, it's kind of inevitable. People will die regardless, so it happens. Sag. One Sag. Oh, we should also build a school. Now yeah, we need to flatten some more land. Oh, the land flattening has gone pretty well.
You're sad for the hunters? Yeah. Well, don't be sad. They'll just be reborn with the same Derp Ella name. Again. Eat music with the seven months as a raptor egg. Thank you very much for the big O support. Yeah. Which civilization game is your favorite till date? Like you mean of the Civ series? I think a lot of people will say they like Civ 5 better than 6. I played uh, 6 the most recently, so I mean I liked it, but I'd like to try 5. But I'm open to whatever everybody wants to play, you know? It seems like a really fun multiplayer game. With the goof troop. What's up, Annie? How you doing? And we're leaving that for decoration. New member, welcome. Yeah. Let's try to do these individually and see what happens. I'm going to try to like a weird cross stitch thing and see how that goes. You just did 100 hours playing this game? Awesome. I think I have like 250 or so. I thought it was way more than that. Ah. Hmm, space for 10, good. Make that clay pit now. And we gotta make a wagon. I think we're getting close to moving stuff over here. wagon shop there for now and then we'll uh, move it as necessary your favorite civilization game is called real life ah it's decent Another house to be built there. I love how the town hall's on the hill. That's so nice. You know, I wish this game would let us build, like, a university. It'd be cool to build, like, a, some sort of a monastery or a university. I think that's what, what's missing is some of the buildings from Manor Lords and uh, Foundation. Because I'd just, like, this game's so pretty to decorate with. It'd be cool if you could build, like, a campus area or something. Build dorms and a university and... Let people study stuff and then get bonuses for the town, like a higher curate for your hospitals or something. The whole education system isn't really fleshed out anyway. The only educated people needed in the town are for the hospital and for the school.
I heard another wolf. see how that turns out. We're going to keep digging that area out a little bit. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, that's right. We need 30 di a desirability for houses to upgrade to tier 2. That's going to take a lot more money. We better do the trading beforehand. Could do the trading down by the market. That way it would be like a... We could do like a public square down there where trading and the marketplace and a lot of other stuff can go down. That's where it do go down. It do go down. Can you grow wheat and barley in this game? Uh, wheat, I, I actually, yes. And barley, I think so as well. I've, I've kind of forgotten. Isn't that how beer is made? Or is it just one? I think maybe it's just one crop. I forget. I know you need honey. I've actually forgotten. Bruh. to build the wagon and then we need to build the clay pit next ah, new villager born and two moved in good So we're wait, waiting for a bunch of land to be flattened. That's kind of cool how it's a legitimate part of the game. If you build up in the mountains, obviously land has to be flattened or leveled beforehand. So it's pretty cool. Although the most difficult buildings to build is uh, the barn and the barracks, from what I remember, on any sort of land with even the slightest of like elevation uh, we need a pit oh right it needs the we can't build that till the wagon shop's done. Okay. It's locked. Yeah, we'll add fish. We got some fish down there too. We just need to wait. Big ol' waiting. Waiting simulator. Which is fine because they're we're not necessarily waiting. We're just building stuff.
All right, the bandits will return again soon, and we're going to have to worry about the uh, trade depot soon. Yeah, we might have to worry about spy balloons, too. You never know. Good. What's our population? 52 out of 64. Good. A little more cash needed at the healer's house. Oh, yeah. Zerg Overlord. Bom, bom, bom. Uh-oh. More wolves. More digging going on. Yeah, the bandits will come from like 360 degrees. What we can count on, though, is rather than just building a wall and wasting time and materials, we can just build where we know they're going to attack, which is where we're storing things. So these buildings here, all of our storage stuff, we can just defend that, and we'll be able to build a tower now, I think. I think we're... Oh. Apparently we don't... Oh. He just needs arrows, but we're making enough. We actually have two Fletchers, so we should have, oh, 360 arrows and 24 bows? Oh, they should have more than enough what they need. Alright, we can shut down one of these buildings. And we'll keep it for whenever we need more. Yeah, that's the, uh, <laughs> that's the uh, wagon from the Oregon Trail. Yep. All right, so let's build a... a security tower. We at least need one. Also, building these high up is quite, uh, quite good for extra damage. It'll do a plus six damage if we put it up high. And if we upgrade this tower, it'll have an even better range, so... But I guess we'll just build it down here for now. Because eventually we are going to move all of this. This will all get moved. And <laughs> the wagon has dysentery. Well, apparently the same guy living across the street from the well has dehydration. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that guy. He lives across from the well and the well has plenty of water. Wait a minute. Ailments, dehydration. Hmm. Well, let's build a well over here then. There's also if a fire breaks out. I think fire is a little bit more common now in the game, but it's it doesn't really happen that often. Even even with it increased.
And that, yeah, that person's dehydrated too. Unless, oh, it's just one. That's where he lives too. Wait, no. Oh, we have scurvy and typhoid. Wait, why? Wait, there's only one person with dehydration, one person who's sick. It marks that there's scurvy and hy and dehydration, but or I mean typhoid, but what? Ah, well, we're working on it. As soon as the wagon building is done, then we can build a mine for clay, and then we can finish up the hospital, which should be our first priority, and then the school, which we'll do right after. Bangers. Hmm. If I consider what kind of wand I'll use in Hogwarts Legacy, there's supposed to be 20... Wow, 28 kinds of wood with three magical cores? Holy hell. No. You know, honestly, I don't know much about Harry Potter aside from, like, maybe two of the, like three of the four houses and, like, the sorting hat. So it's going to be a complete noob perspective of the whole, like, Hogwarts and, and Harry Potter franchise. So... But well, this is going to be cool, because then you guys can, like, show me stuff. It'll be cool. The backseating will be good. It won't even be backseating. It'll just be like, I'll have a question, and chat will just know. It's going to be cool, because a lot of people uh, will know a lot about that franchise, and that, like, all the... Oh, we're under attack again? Hold on. Oh, now it's six times. Okay. Well, that's why we're building the tower next. The hunters should be able to deal with them. Note to self, we're going to probably put our hunters next to our... Uh... It's a good idea to put your hunters near your resources because they can defend too. It's pretty sweet. Oh, they all have traits and personalities. Ooh. I'm excited. I hope everybody who's going to play Hogwarts also watches me too because... For those of you who... Uh end up playing it on your own, you'll probably get way further than me after, like, the first day. So we can toss on the training wheels. Yep, there they go. Yep, our people held the line. Sweet. And all six of them were killed. Beautiful. That's a winning move, man. That's really good early security. Like, you have to pay for a tower. But the hunting shacks, you don't. So it's basically like free troops. They can use your... They can use arrows, and then they can use knives and swords. Oh, ooh, the uh, graveyard actually looking pretty good now. It's flattened out a little bit. Still needs a little work, but, I mean, that's pretty damn good. Here's going to be Hawthorne and Unicorn hair. Oh, man. Dude, it's going to be it's gonna be crazy. We'll, we'll play that right away. I think I want to make it something special. Like, uh, maybe that night I'll just order a pizza and just chill out all night. And do the paw. We'll have to make our character Tucker Hat. What kind of house would Tucker Hat be in? He wouldn't be in a house. He'd just be like, I'm good, I'm just going to sleep in my truck. But hey, let me know when the ripping and dipping takes place. Hey, we, when are we going to do Quidditch? Can I bring my truck? Yeah, Tucker Hat, you can bring He'll be doing donuts around all the goals. <laughs> Window down. Leaning out. Leaning out the truck window. You know, I think that's why I was thinking of Bully today, because uh, for whatever reason, when I think of Hogwarts Legacy, I just think of Bully about how, like, with Bully you had to go to class, but then you could also go out and do shenanigans. And in Hogwarts Legacy, that's exactly what I want to happen. Like, I want to have to, like, do what you would do as a student at the school, 
But then also, like, if I gotta go kill a mutant bear with a ant bear trapioso or something, uh, then do it. Although I think the proper way a bear needs to be killed is by having the Death Star show up and just destroying the planet. At that point, it's just been... You know, like Ewoks, basically bears. Little, just mini bears, but still dangerous. Ah, you saw what they did to the Empire. The Empire couldn't even kill bears. They couldn't couldn't get the Death Star there. They couldn't colonize or invade the planet. It was over. Like that, right there, after the battle for uh, Endor, it was over. Like it was it was their Stalingrad. Empire never gained a, a foothold after encountering the bear planet. You guys think it was Luke in the Force, please? Please. You saw. They were basically... The Ewoks were basically uh, Macaulay Culkin from Home Alone. You know how hard he is to catch. I mean, it was just basically Minnie... You know, whatever the hell that character's name was. Justin? Whatever. Little mini Macaulay Culkins from uh, Home Alone is basically what the Ewok planet was. Cars can fly in Harry Potter, so... T oh my god, you're right. Imagine Tucker Hat's flying truck. That sounds like a store... Oh my god, that's it. When the kids go to store to buy stuff or whatever, that's what's going to happen. Tucker's going to be at the auto body shop. Hey, could you put some magical straight pipes on that, brother? And I want a lift kit. I guess you're not going to go see the movie Cocaine Bear. Fine, I'll go see Cocaine Bear. Wait, is that even going to be a movie that I could go see? Or do I have to go to like a special theater or something? I don't think that's going to be like anywhere. Chat, chat's giving me homework. They want me to leave the house. Alright, cool. Security tower is just finished, so... Someone will live there soon. Yeah, it's based on a real story, yeah. Uh, I love that we're being attacked all the time from predators. Never a dull moment here in... Uh, in Raptor Heights. Raptoria Heights. Did we finish that wagon shop? Not yet. Almost. Latest Star Wars Battlefront has e Empire vs. Ewok game mode in the dark if you're willing to tempt fate. Oh god. No. That's a horror game then. So, so now... Officially, Battlefront is now specifically a... Some people may call it a, a team-based first- or third-person shooter. No, incorrect. That is now a survival horror game that happens to feature, like, squad-based mechanics. Yep. Confirmed. Hey, the well is done now, too, so maybe our guy can get a drink. And also, there's some fire protection over there. All right, now the next thing is to finish the wagon, which we did. Awesome. Now let's finish the clay pit. And then we can build the school and the healer's hut. Nice. Bum, 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 bum. Yay. Hey, what's up, Aaron? Happy Saturday to you as well. And Felix T, thank you very much for subscribing as well. Welcome to all the new subs. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. It's nice, y'all. All right, so now we're building a clay pit. That's going to give us clay for the... We're going to try to build a healer's hut so our people don't uh, get as sick anymore. Uh, 
We're going to try to save lives. Hospital still requires money to be delivered. Winter time again. This game's seasons go by so quickly. I, I remember Manor Lords kind of had win, uh, weather, f winter weather music. Or I guess when the winter season would roll around, different music would play. Nemesis is back. <laughs> that guy just dumped off his... He's like, hell no. He threw down the planks and was bailing. Man. We'll have to wait. Just a little bit longer till that healer is done. You don't have to be faster than the bear. You just have to be faster than the slowest person in the vicinity. It's true.
Predators are attacking. What else is new? Bear meat is all grizzly. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. That is so true. Um, I want to... I'm just waiting for basically the uh, clay pit to be done, which it is now, finally. And now we got to wait for a few people to come and uh, mine out that clay so we can get that... Finally, that healer up and running. Dude, was that another bear attack? It was. Oh, yeah. Wow, now we're having a wave of bears, a bear invasion. Did we find more blueberries? We sure did. And there's some deer over there, too. Oh, dear. All right, we'll work to start pulling those blueberry bushes over. So this can harvest 216 berries in the last year. Each bush creates... We'll have to see. I'd imagine maybe 12 each. I know we probably want to build another forager there just to get them all. Oh, good. We're starting to get the clay. Excellent. So the healer's house will be built within the next, uh, well, this year. Cool. We can finally get out of these cramped quarters on the uh, left side here. No, don't, don't flatten. Do, uh, I need a harvest here. There we go. You th oh, the hibernation period's over. You know, actually, I wonder, that would be cool if this game actually had more animal attacks in the, like, more wolf attacks in the winter because they were kind of, like, out on the hunt and, you know, trying to keep food and stuff like that for the winter. You know, keep fed and getting aggressive and, you know, with game being scarcer, them getting more aggressive in their, their you know, hunt for food in both range and also their aggressiveness, like, taking more risks of going into a town but also it'd be very interesting to uh, see bears come out in the spring because hibernation's over and the first thing they want to do is hit up a Wendy's but upon finding out that it's like the year 1522 or whatever they awake with rage to find out that there is no Wendy's it doesn't exist yet not until the, the date of our people uh, in 1969 with the creation of a Wendy's through Mr. Dave Thomas but you know, then that rage of finding that out makes them want to destroy the village, burn it down. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, now we got to rehire again. All right, how's the population now? Only six people in uh, laborer's position? We need more than that. We're at 56 out of 64. So, yeah, the first thing we got to do is hire a healer so we can stop this dying to death. I need to pass a law that makes uh, dying illegal. First, day one. How do we empty the storage cart or get rid of it? Um, the storage cart 
you could empty it by... So it, it basically acts as a mobile warehouse. So at the start of the game, it comes with a bunch of resources and people will actually pull from it. So right now, for me, it's got like two logs, some firewood, and a bow and arrow in there. Or a bow. And um, so if you want to get rid of it, you can, you can basically click off all these items to tell it to stop storing that stuff. And then when it's empty, you could just send it to the wolves or something like that and get it destroyed. The only way to really get rid of it is to have it destroyed. But whatever's in it will be destroyed as well. So if it's got like a bunch of clay in it and you don't care, you can just send it off to die. But at the start of the game, it's really useful because it's extra and free storage space. And you can also use it in a way where because it's mobile, you might build like one resource building near your town, but maybe you're like doing logging outside of town. You could put the, like where I'm cutting down all these trees here, I could send the wagon over here and then people will bring logs to that. But if any construction happens, people will still have to run out to the wagon. But also, worst case scenario, the wagon all the way out there could be killed. And so if an invasion happens, the wagon could be killed, a wolf could go kill it. So you kind of, you got to need, kind of need to keep it pr protected at all times. Otherwise it's going to end up with a bad time. But that is one way to kind of get rid of it if you want to not have to deal with it anymore in your bigger, more complete town. It's true. Thanks, you are welcome. Thank you, viewer. Predators are attacking, of course. Uh, of course. Alright, the healer's hut's almost done. If you're interested in this game and you just got into it, or if you want some more uh, kind of basic or advanced tips, I do have quite a few videos on the channel as well. So I think exclamation point FF tutorials will... Uh, there's like a whole list of tutorials that you can check out too on the channel. Hello from Finland. Hello. Welcome. I'm kind of tempted to put a whole fence around this place and just make it its own farm. And hopefully we can stop people from dying as fast in this town. But I mean, you know, people are going to die regardless of incurable diseases like rabies. You know what I hope for in this game? Because, you know, spices in this game are a thing that people want. And the only way to get it is to have somebody come in and trade with you. That'd be big money masook. And so the only way to get, like, spices, which bring in a lot of money, is to actually do trading. So I hope in the future there's more things to import that you can't, you cannot make yourself and that you have to buy. It's kind of cool. All right, well, the hospital is done, the healer's hut is done, but we don't have any educated workers, so we will need the school. Sometimes you get lucky and you have an educated worker. Actually, do you, wait a minute. Do you still have to do that trick where you, like, let everybody go, then try to hire them? Let's try that. I'm your favorite streamer. Well, thanks for watching. The other way around this is to f basically let everybody go from their basic jobs, then see if you can find a healer. Where is that? Services? Yep. Ah, uh, that trick still works. Okay. What I think it should do is when you click on that healer's hut, if you have an educated worker, it should show you who's educated and then you can reassign them to like a, a more advanced profession. So if you've got somebody who ha <laughs> if you have somebody who's like working as a logger, but they could be a doctor, Get them as a doctor, because they're going to be way more useful for the whole settlement as a doctor. Ten people wish to join the village? Hell yeah. We're going to need to immediately build homes. All right, come on in. Didn't expect you, but uh, you're still welcome at this table, damn it. Pull up a chair. Build a couple more houses there. Cool. All right. 
We have cold winters here in Finland. I like your sunglasses. Thank you. It's a staple of the streams. Throw down a trailer park. Oh, right. We should do that. Yeah, again, I don't know how these people got by without, like, same-day delivery. Or, like, overnight shipping. Or, hell, even, God forbid, three-day shipping. Or <laughs> having to go to the store. But, I mean, these people don't have a store. Could you imagine that? Like, how am I supposed to buy a 400-pack of pizza from Costco back in these days? I need to go buy a, like, 24-pack of truck tires. Where do, where do I go to get, like, I need to bring up my big rig? Where do I park my big rig to go pick up, you know, the entire uh, Black Forest worth of paper? Do I remember correct? Do you like Sweden? Sweden's cool. I've been there. I have some great Swedish friends. I speak a little Swedish. I like the, uh, Scandinavians got it figured out when it comes to kitchens. I think that's why Ikea is so popular. Uh, Ikea has a lot of other things other than kitchen stuff, but... Denmark, Sweden, Norway, even the Baltic states and Finland and some other places in Europe kind of have the whole kitchen figured out. Simplicity. Americans like to see all these little gadgets where you buy a little gadget for every little thing. It's like, oh, dude, you want to uh, you want to cut? Like, oh, dude, there's... A thousand products for an egg like oh you want to scramble an egg oh this one will scramble it oh you want to oh you want to do sunny side up oh you need this special frying pan for it it's like no we are the best the Danes yeah I uh, refuse to buy frying pans from anywhere except for Denmark Denmark's got the best frying pans it's true but I'm just picky that way uh, build a school to set the town apart from other villages all right so they want us to build a school I agree Oh, the uh, the building has periodic expenses that could not be paid. What? We have 16. All right. I guess we'll just pay it next time. Yeah, I need the op Yeah, you need a special tool to like depit the avocado. It's like, "Oh no, dude, don't don't use a spoon or gravity or a knife. Dude, you need this specific Dude, this was made by NASA. It's made out of uh, titanium." and diamond and ivory for some reason but don't worry it's like locally sourced ivory anyway 36 million dollars and you oh, order now and it's only 16 easy payments of and if you order now we'll throw in uh, 17 more for just three trillion dollars i mean 17 easy payments of it's like no you don't need all that stuff you just need quality not quantity quality you don't need eight different size frying pans. You just need four that are very high quality and easy to clean and that you maintain. Which means deep cleaning sometimes, but it's worth it. Trust me. It's all part of my evil plan for everybody to, uh, if you if you spend a little bit more on the food that you make, which it, it food is very expensive, of course, but Food is really one of the very few things that really can truly affect your mood and your energy and your, your body that way, right? Like, we can all listen to a song we don't like, but that doesn't really truly affect you. But, bro, could you imagine eating a slightly green tomato? Oh. <laughs> How is one to manage? Boy, now I sound like an artisan from... Uh, Anno 1800. Boy, I don't know what's worse. The crew of the Ixion or the uh, whiny artisans from Anno 1800 where every time you click on them, it's like a they have to read a quote from a poem about how they're mad that there is a, there's beer, but there's not as much beer as they'd like. It's like, oh, we have a thousand populate. We have a thousand artisans or people that could drink beer, and we have 999 beers. We're making more, but currently we don't have enough for everybody. But not everybody's going to drink it, 
but that makes us mad that there might not possibly be enough. But there is. But there is a possibility of maybe not. So we're mad. Like, imagine that. <laughs> it's like being pre-mad. You know, it's like, well, this th this Thanksgiving I'm going back to my, my folks' house and I got to go to the airport. So I'm already pre-mad that the airport could be busy 10 months from now. I'm already pre-mad about it. <laughs> Saying like, why why would you think about that stuff? Focus on the now. If you're coming to Finland someday, you have to stream something cool. I I think I want to. Finland's very cool. F Finland also like with what I mentioned about the Swedes and the Danes. They also like quality, especially those saunas. All right, cool. Two new homes are almost done. Q building school. I'm not happy with a lot of the locations for these buildings, but again, we're going to move things around. I do like this game for allowing you to move things easily. It's very nice. More predators. The hospital should... What's the hospital's expenses? Oh, 25 is the monthly cost? Oh, damn. I'm going to have to build another uh, another market. Didn't think about building those homes over here. All right, let's make sure we can make money from them. Surprise, you're now moving. houses near the market. Gotta get a trade center up too so we can make some money finally. Let's do it. Glad to see you're on this game again. Yeah, Craig, it's been good. Good to, good to return. Mostly because, remember, it was kind of unplayable the last time. The frame rate was just not cooperating. Now it's playable again. I'm just going to build this here. There we go. Hmm. You used to work for American Airlines in the early 2000s, and I'm glad I left. Yeah, I don't know. I've never been on a flight with anybody rude. I did have that one. I had one flight, though, where they asked for if there was a doctor on the flight. I thought that was sweet. I was like, cool. <laughs> I hope the person was okay, but it was just cool to be like. I asked Pinto of all the flights that he'd been on if there was ever a call for a doctor. He said no. So apparently it was pretty rare. But... I figure that modern airlines are basically like a fight club now. It just seems like at any moment there could be a brawl. Oh no, now we need to make all of our gold for this. Okay. All right, well, we're not going to have a, enough gold for a little while. Both for the night soil, the hospital, the school. I, I wonder if the school actually takes... Wait, that's the school there, yeah. What about the... M oh, good, the trading post doesn't take it. All right, let's prioritize the trading post, because then we can get money and finish these other buildings. Cool. And they shot down that balloon? Yeah, how weird. How weird. Healer's house is 25 and the school is free? Okay. Oh, 
we have space for a 67. Oh, it's because two of these houses are supposed to move, so they're kind of vacant. The game thinks that they don't exist yet. But when we move them, they'll be within the catchment area of the market and we'll make more money. Hey, Chad, I was, uh, by the way, has anybody been playing the new, um, all right, so somebody had said something, and I, I think I was confused about stuff. I, Chad, I need, I need your, I need your help on, like, a little research project. So, <clears throat> Hitman Freelancer is out. Is Hitman Freelancer a separate game that was made on Hitman's 3 engine that allows you to play, like, all the other Hitman levels with just, like, a roguelite? experience or is that a game mode for three is it a separate game or a new game mode because I I couldn't figure it out I hear fighting it's a game mode okay Damn it. Because I was thinking it was a whole new game. And they sent me a key for PlayStation. And I was like, the hell they sent me a key for PlayStation for? I don't have... I don't, what? What's going on? And I wanted to play it, but then I was like, oh. Well, that's cool. I want to play for, uh, Hitman Freelancer then. Because Hitman 3 was a lot of fun. Freelancer is kind of like... Uh, well, it's a roguelite mode where they just put a bunch of random weapons and contracts around and then you can make money that way which is pretty cool and then of course you can unlock the weapons in the field and buy stuff and bring it back to your hq that's really cool all right cool hey what's up rabbit girl good to see you in the chat welcome back welcome back we're trying to make it so all the houses in the town are around the market also, another good thing about building near the market is that uh, I think the market also gives a little desirability. I'll keep flattening things out, though. Oh, death by banana. Oh, yeah. I remember that death by banana. And it worked. The guy died from a banana. Hey, chat. Did you know I put out another YouTube short just a little bit ago? Oh my god. Hmm, next time you go to Stockholm, uh, take a ferry to... St oh, from F Stockholm to Helsinki. It'll cost about 50 euros. Telnik or Viking line is most cheapest. Oh, that'd be... I should go to Finland just for a little bit. I'd love to swing by. But chat, I'd have to take a day off. I don't know how we feel about that. I've only been working consecutively for like the last 980 days. I don't want chat to think I'm lazy. <laughs> Short shorts, yeah. Uh, shorts would be... Sh the fact that shorts are kind of here now as a mainstream thing that have been better implemented is cool because when I... If I go to Japan in the future or anywhere, I want to do live streams. Those are fun. But if I can't do a live stream, a short's also good to just show small things without having to record a ton of footage and make massive... You know, like record two hours of footage of Japan and then, you know, cut that down into like a bunch of smaller video. I, I think sometimes 60 seconds is all you need to show people some cool stuff. Like even if it's just, um, you know, even if I'm just showing like a Japanese train station or something. Even if it's kind of like boring stuff, it's still very interesting. Like a, like a vending machine. It's like, oh, that doesn't sound very interesting. But then you look at it and you're like, oh, damn, that's how it works? Cool. That's a lot of editing. Yeah, I'm lazy. 
I I need to I w always want to hire an editor, but I don't I don't want somebody who doesn't just make have their own channel. Like having somebody who just edits videos is like it's too formal and businessy. I want I want people to work with where we can all exchange like ideas and stuff and we all I don't know, fr a friendship? Is that what the humans call it? Something like that. <laughs> you know. You need somebody who knows your personality, you know what I mean? Not just like a... an editor. Well, what I mean is by that is like a corporation. Like a cubicle farm. Don't want that. If you go to Mount Fuji, it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I've been past Fujisan. I've seen Mount Fuji from the Shikansen line four times, I think. Pretty sure. Ooh, but climbing Mount Fuji, oh, I don't know. Security. Was that guy, like, employing dodge mechanics or something? He was, like, taking on Elden Ring final boss. Okay, we also need more wood planks. But we need more basic laborers. I, I can't... I want to keep the laborers around 15. We need about 15 of them. What's up, Gainer Gr Gamer Grony? How you doing? Welcome. When you go to Japan, you need to worry about yourself and not worry about Chad. Well, I would love to see some friends again. And then probably eat an entire cow's worth of, like, meat. meat, And then, of course, have ramen. And pro I'd probably cry. I... At that point, a single tear would probably come down my face after, because it's been so long and it's so meaningful and ramen's so good. A, l a single tear would come down my eye. Can we be friends with the bears? You know, to be honest, I never did anything to them. They started it. I'd ha I'd hold out an olive branch, but they'd probably be trying to hide behind that. Hey, what's up, Rogue? Hi, chat. Welcome aboard, everybody. Good to see you all here. Housing shortage. They're not wrong. We need to make some more houses. Wait, they haven't even built the ones that they're supposed to. Build those houses. Top priority. Let's go. And then we need to build a road through there. Oh boy. Holiday break. Yeah, last spring I was going to go see Stromby in, in Sweden. But I didn't. Alright, this year I'm going to have to go. We need to start writing survival scenarios for when I, I go to travel. I'll just put up a bunch of YouTube shorts. We'll figure out a way. And by the way, I do want to thank every single one of you for helping with those YouTube shorts as well. For those of you who have made clips of the funny moments of the channel, and those of you who've uh, taken those clips and turned them into shorts, and those of you who've uh, advised on the shorts or uh, highlighted even just like timestamps or went back and like provided me a link, uh, thank you very much. All you, all you guys have helped with the uh, the shorts, which are cool because the... The plan of the shorts was to kind of highlight the best moments of the stream and try to have people come into the stream so we could see people's, like, honest and true personalities in a, in a larger format. You know, it's, it's hard to kind of, you know, in a 30-minute video or in a three-second short or something like that, it's hard to tell 
what a channel and what a game and what a community and what a person's about. But with these streams, it's kind of hard to... It's hard not to get a full picture of what things are like if you kind of watch the whole thing. If this is somebody's first time watching Farthest Frontier, I think in this three-hour stream, you'd be able to see a lot of what the game has to offer. Not everything. It's a pretty big game, but, you know, by watching the stream, you can kind of get a feel for chat and, you know, you can feel the room and see what things are like here and what I'm kind of like and what we like to do here. And this game doesn't represent the only type of game on the channel. But at least it gives you an idea of one of the things that we play. There's strategy in this game, too. Of course, we have to build a military and whatnot. And there's some other strategy games on the channel where we do stuff with tanks and troops and things like that. So our interests, just like the games that we like to play, are quite diverse. And you guys do a very good job of uh, either telling me about a game that I would be interested in playing. Uh, or I've already played it, too, which is totally fine because... It means that you guys are suggesting games that I already would have played or that I'm interested in. So, thank you to all you guys for all your crazy big O support. All the cool stuff going on in the community. I see people playing games all the time. And, uh, always feel welcome to, like, reach out for advice if you have a YouTube channel. Uh, I don't see you guys as, like, other channels as a competitor or an enemy or, like, it's gang territory where it's, like, supplies are limited in every... Like, there's, a, like, a fight on you. Some people are that way, and that's not that's not a good mindset. It certainly might make you more competitive and do more on your own, but that's kind of a... That clouds the mind, you know? So it's been nice to be able to, like, chat with Dirty and Red and Lumberjack and hang out with Pinto sometimes and other people who dabble. Dabble in YouTube a little bit, like Pinto. So it's been cool to see everybody, like, doing their own thing, but, yeah, work together. And that is why I like the co-op games often on the channel, too. Where we, like, build a base together. It's been a lot, of, a lot of fun. So thanks to all you guys for making those shorts. We can promote the best the community has to offer. Yeah. Good job, chat. Yeah. This game is still early access. Indeed it is. Yep. And they recently made an update to... The reason why we're kind of starting over with this one... Yes, thank you. The reason we're starting over with this game again is the recent update has um, kind of fixed a lot of the optimization and crashing issues that... Uh, I didn't experience any crashes or game-breaking bugs, but I did experience a lot of lag that kind of made it unplayable. So you could still play the game, but it was kind of like... It was almost like mailing chess moves in. Like, once a week you got to make a move... And it's like, oh boy. What about Booster? Booster's on that list. I just, I was just pulling from a very small list in my mind. But, you know, Jerry, Booster, um, you know, anybody else we played with, for sure. Even if they don't um, stream as much, like Morgan and Indrid and a few of you guys, like Nicholas, who joins us for SnowRunner and stuff like that. Everybody's part of the Goof Troop. Goof Troop is kind of more of the streamers within that group, but, you know, if you're playing with us, it's, it's all good. It's just for fun. Even if we're trying to be serious, there should we should be focused on having serious fun. Because that's why we all wanted to play games in the beginning. Yeah, FPS is now around 60. You know, I've noticed too, when I... A after I reload the save, it actually kind of improves the frame rate a little bit, so... But it could be all the weather effects going on. I mean, there's leaves and rain and a bear, I think, probably. Nope, that was a wolf. But yeah. Don't forget about Booster 2. I like Booster because he kind of went off to do his own thing, but yet he's open to like, also, like play with us at the same time. But he's like gotten really into wanting to play the games that he's wanted to play. That's cool. He feels free, I can tell. He do what he wants. This game is fun, but poorly optimized, My or my PC is starting to get old. Yeah, you're not wrong. It's it's better optimized than it was, but it could still be better. But that's why I want to still cheer on the devs and say, like, this game is great. Keep making it better, because, like, th there's great stuff here. It's like Anno and Banished put together, and it's great. All right, let's try to make another graveyard. Are we making these 4x4s? Hell yeah, brother. Four by four. 
Booster finished for Spoken. Oh man, I wanted to finish that too. That's just not enough time, really. Hey! No way! Our first trader's coming in. Judging by the missing torso still, that's got to be Scorv. He does. This is still an issue. He's transparent. It's like me when I stream. Look, it's just, it's, it's just me. It's just me. Oh. What's up, Stephanie? Damn, we're going to have our first big O trade. Let's see what he brings. I think it's score, which means he's probably just going to... I forget what he buys a lot of arrows. He's more of a hunter. Oh, that's... Uh, what's his name? Oh, yeah. Ander Plains Rider. Well, that's good. He will buy clay. He'll sell stone. I need to sell some stuff. Damn, he'd buy uh, pottery. Well, we're working on getting our population up, so that's fine. All right, let's 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 uh, transfer like all 65 of this clay here. We'll mine out more later. I need some money. We've got to make sure the hospital's working, and we got to finish that uh, school. So it's nice that the school doesn't have an operating cost, but that it's just a one-time build cost. Yeah, he's wearing a, kind of like a transparent camo, so that way he protects himself. Booster is great and friendly. I know, he drops by and raids when he can, too. I'd like to raid him as well, but I want to raid my new videos and stuff because I just made them. <laughs> Too bad he lives where he does because he he's got like a set streaming schedule like me. I'll just move so Booster can get a, a shout out. Alright, let's uh, trade a little bit of that. Alright, Clay's not a bad thing to start with our trade. Transfer gold to village. Alright, cool. Now the hospital will finally work again. No water? What do you mean? You live right there. I'm just going to say it's probably low water because they haven't gone to the well yet since they moved in. We're going to have to work to flatten this land out. Uh, since the update, you can pl put clo uh, wells closer together. Oh, really? Okay. I honestly thought this was uh, a lot of wells. I have like three on this road and then one up here in the corner. Or wait. I thought I had one there. Well, whatever. When we upgrade them, they'll also provide more water, so that's cool. That's cool. Hi, Michael. Well, like Hogworth, you didn't get hyped for Forspoken. I thought it was uh, cool with what they did, but I think it, if for who developed it, I think it could have had a lot more polish and smooth transitions and stuff between it. But if an indie dev or somebody else had made that, I, I, you know. Oh boy, there's Scorv. Uh, he'll buy stone for four. 
Don't want to give up that stone. Clay is kind of more plentiful. Well, a lot more plentiful. Maybe we should make some apiaries yet. Can we get some monkeys yet? Where is that under resources? Oh. Oh, we need to have a farm. Don't forget to take a break for later. Yes. I will uh I will definitely take a break. Anything we could buy that would be useful? Oh, wait, whoa, wait, 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 whoa, wait, wait. Hold on. He's, uh, I don't know if we have, we don't really have a lot of money to do the buy low, sell high. You win this round, Scorv. Raptor doesn't do breaks unless it's next. Eh, we, let's get another person assigned here. I just want gold this first year. No buying, only selling. Yeah, he has beer, but we won't be able to sell it till tier three, I think. Beer. Which is too close to bear. Maybe we should rename it. To, I'll just refer to it as like Pilsner. No, Mead. We'll just call it Mead in this game because it is made with honey. Ooh. School's almost done. I really hope this game develops to have different styles for buildings too. Anno 1800 recently got a few new styles for like the new world and the old world where you could toggle between a couple of different styles and it just looks really nice. Certain buildings look very nice. I don't know why the school has like... Oh, it's a sundial. Oh, they're teaching them time. Our services are negative 29. So, oh, soldier training is the uh, tower. What's taking 29? Oh, 04 plus. Wait a minute. The hospital's 25. Compost yard is fine. Oh, I see. I see. They don't, they don't loop that in. So actually our expenses are 20 uh, 34 and income is 16. What? All right, we just that just means we got to pile more houses in around the uh, market. Uh you've been curious about this one? I've heard it's very deep sim with some complex systems. Yes, but also no too. Like the uh, education system is very easy. 
Basically, the school only trains people to work at the hospital, and that's pretty much as far as the education system goes at the moment. But I see some potential for some very large uh, trading systems like that. And, uh, sorry, training systems like that, educational systems like that. How many laborers do we have? 11. All right, we still want to get that number up to like 15. And of course, I've been leaving all these blank spaces for decoration. Super important. I guess. Uh, we have the this tower, the lookout tower, counts as a military building. You basically pay somebody to stand up there with a bow and arrow and shoot bears. Which would be my job. Yeah, but I need all the flattening to be done. Wow. Alright, so this well's a little low on water. So, we can upgrade that one first when we get bricks, I think. Or just build more wells. Doesn't really matter. El Rojo, thank you very much for the 31... Or, sorry. Thank you for becoming a Raptor Egg. You, your last uh, two numbers are 31 there. Thank you very much for the new membership. All right, welcome aboard. Thank you very much for becoming a member, El Rojo. Thank you. Good to see you. Yeah, so technically, you know, honestly, I think that the the hunters' camps are technically uh, military buildings because at the beginning, I mean, we have four people who've just probably killed about twenty invading army troops at this point. So that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good win. The least you could do. You've enjoyed the channel for New a long member. while. Well, thank Welcome. you. Yeah. New member. All right. Let's try to move this house again. There we go. And it'll be within the area of the market. And this house, too. Good, good. Now we gotta wait till that flattening's done. I don't know why they just don't get a caterpillar bulldozer out here, brother, and just level it to the horizon. What do I think about an Anno 1900? Mmm, it would... I feel like it would be a mod for Anno 1800. Actually, I feel like some of the things from Anno 1800 actually goes from, like... It goes from, like, 1800 to, like, almost 1920 with some of the things. Like, the airships and some of the fantasy stuff kind of feel like they could exist in an alternative reality, but that would have only been in, like, the tw like the 1910s or 20s. Like, some of those things kind of hint at Amelia Earhart and stuff, and that wasn't even until, like... Uh, uh oh what's wrong here? Uh, Amelia Earhart was, like, the, uh... Like, the 20s and 30s, I think. Let's uh, build one there. Getting more houses built. 
Oh, that's true, yeah. It wouldn't count to nine. Oh, that's true. They could never do the 1900 because it would go to ten. It would have to be like... Ooh, actually. Yeah, 1800 is the only way it could go. But that's why they have 2070 and 2205. Because they count to nine. That's the rule of Anno. The number has to uh, equal nine. So they could literally do Anno 9 and make it like 9 AD or 9 BC. But I think they could do like an Anno, a sub game. They could do Anno colon legends but then that sounds like a mobile game or something but i'd like to see them try to experiment with like an ancient ancient times be super cool to do like mesopotamia or uh really any like of the old world uh civilizations would be very uh, fast oh i'd love to see something combined anno but also civ oh, that'd be cool A lot of construction going on, though. I can hear all the building. They could do Anno 509 with the Vikings. Oh, but it, but it doesn't equal 9. But man, an Anno Viking city builder? That would be cool. There's a lot of potential for something like that to be... Well, then that would be so different than Anno, too. Anno has a lot to do with, like, heavy trade. And it would be kind of cool to see that with the Vikings, but... And it, and it usually goes around ships. But to get away from that, they'd have to call it, like, An Anno Valhalla. And it's like, okay. Anno Ragnarok. Which I'd like to see them try. And I'd like it to be good. I just want more ancient uh, you know, like Korea, China, Japan, Greece, and Roman, uh, Roman uh, city builders. Be cool. Uh, frame rates are still fine for me if we display their names. Seems to be hovering at about 50... 56 to 59. And without their names, it seems to be about the same. Atlantis, Atlantis City Builder, that'd be cool. Spoiled six berries. Oh, that's not bad at all. Bum, 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 bum. 
But I guess what they could do is maybe a remake of like Anno 1602 or... I mean, there's so much content to explore there with today's... Um, you know, we have... Like, we can kind of more freely zoom around and there's a lot more memory and so you could build even more bigger, more detailed settlements with more mechanics. And overall, I think a lot of people... There's a, a lot of mechanics that have like made a lot of those things common so people understand how they work so it would be quite feasible to do wasn't there like a 1602 and what was it like 1701 I'd like to see how they how those would play out with remakes because I think those are great they could call it the same but kind of change what it's all about maybe like give us other locations than just like the Americas in that time period, which I think they were about. Yeah, 1404 worked. That was a good one. Anno 207, that'd be kind of cool. That just sounds like a, that just sounds like a fancy dinner club, like Club 57 or whatever. That just sounds fancy. Like, um, taking my girlfriend out for uh, dinner. It's our anniversary. Oh, where are you going? Oh, we're going to Anno 207. Oh, dude. Are you going to propose? Yeah. Yeah, it was Studio 54. That's right. Yeah, it would be, it's right. It would be a tuxedo, no, it would be top hats and like period garb from, well, actually it would be 207, so what would it be, like uh, togas? A loincloth, maybe? Just a leaf. You know what would be interesting, though? You say Anno underscore 207. I bet you there's a fancy restaurant called Underscore where it's literally just a... You look at the restaurant, it's just the little underscore line, you know? And you go in there and they have a menu that doesn't have prices. Everything just has like a description, like a very passive-aggressive description. Like, oh, you'll like this. Su succulent steak. X money. <laughs> they had the calendar, so I assume they had clothes in AD 207. Yeah, maybe. But, you know, this, this we're talking about the restaurant. Like, who knows what their dress code is going to be. All right. Man. Yeah, the people certainly take a lot more water in this one than I remember. More water is needed. Gregorian calendar vibes. Oh, there, there's literally a restaurant called Underscore. It's in Jaipur, India. Of course it is. It, have to, it would have to exist. More gold, 3,000 there, nice.
Music's so nice. More money is needed. How much do we have in the trade depot? None. Well, we'll have to wait till spring. And we're gonna need some more houses. Or we just try to focus on getting our houses to level two now. Which requires 30 um, desirability. So decorations will help with that. Oh, we have wolves to deal with and bears. The wolves and bears are just being hunted by our hunters. So as kind of a rudimentary method of defense, I've just hired a bunch of hunters to patrol around the, the city and deal with them. They're almost like questers or something. Hey, okay, cool, the wagon's doing its job. Nice. Good. Good. Hey, Mallory. Wow, they're cutting down all those trees. A new year. Good sounds are good. Any schedule when this will be out of early access? Um, no, but uh, they've added a lot of new content to it between its initial early access release and now. And then they went to uh, working on optimization, which is good. I, I'd rather them actually work on the optimization stuff first before adding all the other tiers. Uh, they're going to be adding a lot more late game, like mid late to late late game stuff. And so I hope before they do that, they uh, focus a lot on the uh, optimization. My goodness, we're being attacked like crazy. Man, so many wells are needed around this place. But I hope soon. I hope everybody will be able to play soon in a, like a full version of the game. And I, I always feel like even though games go into full release, they always often get, you know, f DLCs or free content or new missions or big updates that add new stuff or have events. And so a game is really never truly finished. I think finished 
you know, people say, oh, dude, this game was abandoned. But I feel like oftentimes it's just, they're just finished with it and move on to something else. Like, you know, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas or Grand Theft Auto 4. It's not abandoned. It's just finished. On the other hand, I think uh, games like um, Grand Theft Auto 5 have been finished for over a decade now. Almost. We have lots of wood here. Let's trade for money. We're going to be cutting down a lot of trees to clear clear the way. Yeah, because technically, like at this point, isn't Grand Theft Auto V just still early access then? Uh, they're still adding content to it. You could argue that way. On the other hand, that game and like The Sims 4 just kind of need to be finished. We need like a new... A new foundation to build a whole new game on. It could still be another Sims or another Grand Theft Auto, but it needs to start new. Which they are doing, you know. But I want it now. Hey, look at that. We got 15 laborers now. Fantastic. They're all going to be working to clear those trees. Which is good, because we need the, those trees to build houses. Oh, no, you don't. Thank you, Mallory, for watching. Good to have you in the strims. Grimbims and strimbims. Village is being raided. Ooh, ten raiders now. They're stepping it up. All right. Here they come. They don't stand a chance. All right, get them, chat. Get your guns. Ooh, Anders Plane Rider is back. Nice. Now we're making some money. Let's do it. And you'll buy logs, but I don't really want to sell those. Flower pottery. I need to make pottery. I'm going to make a, uh, a Harry Potter dome or whatever they call it. What does this game call it? Pottery Workshop? Get wrecked. Ma'am, I need you to shank him. Nice. Get wrecked. That was chat coming out of the blueberries on that one. Good job, chat. Good. Good. Confirmed kill for chat. Oh, 
Alright, where were we? Oh yeah, the pottery. Eh, we'll have to wait till we get more people. Yeah, she wasn't messing around. Okay. Let's transfer money back to the town. Let's start doing some decor. Could do a little shrine. Shrine there, and then let's do medium gardens, will be fine. Twenty-two villagers graduated. What? Oh, now we have a... Can we only get one healer? Oh, we can actually get two. Mm. I'll keep one for now. All right, let's click... Uh, Clear up some of the terrain here. Wow, 11 people arrived now. Wow, we're at our housing limit again? Jeez. Good number of people to be arriving. 11 people, that's a lot. Well, hand them an axe and get cutting. Clear this land and start making some more houses. Have I streamed Three Kingdoms? Is that the um, Total War game? I think I have. Pretty sure. At least there's a video on it. Total War Three Kingdoms, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, see? good. Ah, good. And people are being cured as well. Now we just got to expand our uh, operation a little bit. Are they all the same family? Oh, the 11 people? Uh, I guess you don't really get to know, but I, I'd imagine like of the 11, 11 people, it could be like 
you know, two families with X number of kids, yeah. Or just unrelated people, too. Could be. Which is good, because if they were unmarried and hadn't yet found a significant other, that means that when they move in, they can pair up with anybody here who's not currently has kids and then find a... I, I don't know how it works for having children, but you'll get way more immigrants than you will babies. You know, it's like... I think in some of my towns, I would have like four, five babies ba maybe being born, and then like in a year, 25 people would move in. So it's significantly higher. Why the spacing when flattening land? Someone in the chat had told me to start doing that, or at least some people have been running experiments and had said that that's a good method to... Uh, quickly low, uh, flatten the most amount of land. And in this game, you kind of have to do flattening multiple times. So this, every other uh, method seems to clear a lot of land quickly, and then you'll have to come back over a few times. I I'm still flattening out our graveyards, for example, but they're pretty flat now compared to where they were. It's the uh, dinosaur method, the raptor method. I invented it after someone told me about it. I call it the Nestle method. What I do is I take something else that somebody's provided for free, and then I charge for it. That'll be $1 chat. Plus a $2 shipping fee, state and federal handling taxes, warehousing fee, 20% uh, gratuity mandatory, plus another 100% gratuity on top of that. So, uh, you know, nothing I could do. I really wish I could, you know, keep these prices fair and competitive, but honestly, there's nothing I could do, especially when I fixed them with others. Which is myself. I've agreed with myself on what the price will be, and that is what it will be. I have spoken. Thanks. What are you talking about? You're just jealous because I got the drip going. What can I say? Really cool to see them clear out like an area for building. We got flattening going on. They're cutting down trees. You know what we really need is a slow-paced railroad builder like this where you build a town and then you have to build like sections of the railroads next to the cities. Be really cool and slow paced. Slow paced. Manage the city, but then all the extra resources need to go to the railroad. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, oh, cholera. I wonder, as we flatten the land, I wonder if that changes the water table because the wells are kind of closer to the ground, like, not the ground, but just lower. Like, to the lowest level. You pack your houses close together? Yeah, I used to do that too, but now because there's more to do with desirability in this game. I'm leaving a lot of this to uh, placing decorations or things for desirability. Uh, now that the game allows us to have more people in the houses, it doesn't have to be as compact. But I agree, uh, the more compact the better because then that means it's less wall you have to put around the city and thus easier to defend. But if I can get more people in the houses, then also my city can be small too. There'll be more people living in... Uh, less houses it's just good business lord business how many people are in houses now 84 populations almost to a hundo as soon as we we're clearing this forest and then i'm gonna uh flatten it and then we'll add some more houses there too but mostly i'm just trying to keep every house within the influence of the market so we can make money to pay doctors and uh, whatever other expenses we get. A child has grown up. Oh, that's cool. I don't remember that being a thing before. I don't remember the game ever telling you that somebody 
reached like working age. A child has grown up and is ready to join the labor pool. I don't remember that. That's new to me or I'm just misremembering. How many people are in per house? Um, I guess you just take... It's probably four. So 84 divided by four. Yeah, it looks like maximum for these houses is four. We're almost ready to go to tier two housing, and we're going to add a few more houses. But I'm going to try to keep everybody around one market. One market to rule them all. Monopoly. And the shrine is done. Oh, and, and oh, the houses I think are ready to upgrade. A couple of them, yep. These ones are now upgrading. So they want planks and they want logs. Beautiful. I don't know. I think they buy more from the... Well, actually, another thing, too, is that if more people mo live in these houses and we don't have to change anything in terms of, like, adding more services, then we get more money because... Those services can support a lot of people. We don't have to build more of them, so we can make even more money. Good. Good. You've been waiting for more Farthest Frontier? Yeah. I'm going to play it every couple days. Probably until we hit, like, Tier 4. And maybe throw a wall around the city, but maybe not. But uh, after we play it this time, the next time I'll play it is probably whenever there's some significant, uh, big uh, content update that adds like a new tier. Because we're going to have a lot to play this month. A lot. A lot of damage. Hey, what's up, my hi? How you doing? Lots of games equals lots of shorts. It's true. If and when I ever do anything funny. That's why there's only like four shorts. Hey, that hospital's paying off. Good. Oh, some of these houses are so close. Let's build another dec decoration. Oh, a park. Slope is too steep. Oh. I'll build it here. Hundred and fifty gold for that. Jeez. That's on you, Raptor. You don't upload them? No, I have been. We've got a great pool of shorts to pull on now. We're going to pull on a lot of shorts. We're going to go wild. But, I got a plan, Tan. We'll talk. Operation Bear Necessities. 
Sponsored by Bear Grylls. Oh, we got lots of logs now. That's good. That's another thing, too, is that when you start adding decorations, a lot of your... Because your buildings will be upgrading, you'll probably see a lot of, like, basic resources kind of being used, like planks and such. So when you start to upgrade your town, it's kind of hard to, like, also upgrade your industries because you're getting so many... Things pulling from your resources. Look at that. We're up 23 now. Fantastic. We can build some new industries. You like that sponsor? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tier 3 brick walls. Oh, there's that's right. There's hedges now, too. And iron. I love how our town's been defending itself no problem against the invasions. We might have to think about building another tower, though. But well, let's finish the park first. Bum, bum, bum. You know, when somebody says we need to talk, it usually means trouble. Yeah, we're talking about bears. Though Those are always trouble. I can't even play Deliver Us Mars without literally the main character being called Moon Bear 400 times. Oh, this game's about space. Oh, that's cool. You play as a lady who's going to Mars to find her dead. Moon Bear, Moon Bear, Moon, moon Bear, Moon Bear. I was like, oh, God. Can't even escape. There's no escape. It's like there couldn't possibly be bears in space. Here, I'll make this emote called a Bearstronaut emote. Chat will love that. We'll probably never use it. There's never, no way you would ever see a bear wearing an astronaut costume. Hold on. That reminds me. I forgot. To, oh, it's a Saturday. I don't think they sent that package yet. Or rather, I don't think it's been delivered yet. But dear God. Hi, Raptor. Uh, would you mind sharing what difficulty options you chose? Yeah, everything's on Vanquisher, the hardest. Yep, we're on the hardest difficulty on everything. Health, resources, uh, starting resources, disease, or why well, I said health, but uh, also invasions. Everything's on hard. Yeah, there you go. And now that's like a permanent emote too, chat, because now it's just too iconic. And you guys unlock that with 100 new members during one of the streams. The next one will be a scuba bear, which, oh boy. Could you imagine if they make Subnautica 3 and it's just a scuba bear? Oh no. Oh no. It's gonna happen now. Subnautica 3, the main, main character is just gonna be a bear. And I'm going to be like, chat, you don't see a problem with this, do you? And they're like, no, Smiley. You should play it more. It's like, we've already beaten it twice, chat. No, play again, Smiley. I love in this game, too, how you have to flatten more than once. Like, it, it it's kind of cool because you don't... It, it kind of allows you to flatten things in phases. Like, some areas need to be more flattened than others, but it's cool how it doesn't use, like, the City Skylines paintbrush thing where, like, you kind of paint an area to flatten. It actually takes manual labor. So, like, if people were going to be flattening something, they'd come through once to flatten it, and then they'd probably have to come through again and again and again, just to keep removing materials. Like, it simulates going in there and digging up all that soil and then moving it out, and then having to do it again if needed, until you get the desired elevation. Makes sense. You want a bear to be wearing my sunglasses? 
Wow. Well, I'll have to think of what to call that emote. I haven't bothered Art in a while for a new emote. I'll have to get some stuff going for Harry Potter. Oh, Barry Potter. All right, chat. 100 members. We unlock the uh, Barry Potter emote. Magical. And then that way when a bear magically pops out of a closet and kills me in the, a game, then chat can spam the, oh, look, a magical bear that spawned out of nowhere. And then they can spam their little magic bear emote. Oh, oh, wonderful. We'll give them the little glasses and the, the lightning bolts. Oh, it'll be wonderful. For you, chat. Not for me. I hate it. <laughs> Alright, what do we got going on now? So now, now that we're tier 2, we did all the... We have the hospital, the school. We could get away with a festival pull. Ah, that's going to cost too much money. Rat catcher, we're fine on. Not, no farming yet. Don't want to do that yet. Oh God, yeah, we can give you guys a pis a picnic basket emote. Oh. Bears love those picnic baskets. Yeah. Oh, look at all the houses getting upgraded, too. This probably means more tax dollars as well. assign more people to construction. Let's do that. There's a lot going on. Let's get it up to 10. A lot of construction going on. I can handle this town with my bare hands. Uh-huh. Yogi Bear in the picnic basket. Yep, I remember that. I do. I do. I do. Smarter than the average bear. Nice, our first homestead. Pretty sure. Ah, and that can hold five people. Excellent. And now they'll buy pottery, too, so that can put our clay to work, which means we can make uh, get some more money from that. Beautiful. So, now it's... Oh, and we also want to do um, an apiary for candles soon. Apiaries are fantastic. A lot of good money from that. Also, a soap shop. So we can put all that tallow to work. Though I don't know if we're getting herbs. We'll have to take a look. Well, let's start with the pottery barn. We can sell a lot of home goods... At high prices with that. Yeah, trees will grow back over time, yeah. We're going to be building here, though. And probably be mining up there at, at some point. Hey, 
Happiness is a little low. Ah, that happens in the spring when we're kind of low on food. But in the spring, that's when everything grows again, so we can gather eggs and mushrooms, and we'll have to grab some herbs, too. So we can make that soap. houses some of these guys just need two food types now so yeah it'll probably be covered by this this year yeah let's uh i think fish counts as a food type too although maybe the game counts at all as just protein yeah fish and meat are under protein and with eggs well, we'll have tons of berries and then mushrooms coming in, so that's good. What does mushroom count as? A vegetable, apparently. Okay. Well, it's got roots, so I suppose. Hello, ma'am. Welcome back. Oh, she has heavy tools. We'll need to buy one of those eventually. Nothing else I really want to sell her. Be cool if the forest could light on fire. Be a neat thing to see. Smokey wouldn't like that, but... That's fine. Mostly need more food types. Now I'm not sure what or when the next update will be. But we just got this one like just a little bit ago. So that's good. This building is off, and then this building requires a sword, but it's a guard tower, so I don't want them out stabbing people. I want them shooting from the tower. Lots of herbs up there. Build another forger. We'll go get those herbs so we can start making soap. That's another good trade item. Do we have to build a dump outside of town? Well, there's a compost yard, but there's not really any sort of waste that we need to get rid of other than organic.
bum, 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 bum. Yeah, Stank Industries, that's right. Yeah, Tier 4 is kind of not really existent. Other than the Tier 4 houses and the Tier, tier 4, um, what is it called? Town Hall, Town Center. Oops. Not much else to it. Another traders on the way, that's cool. Saving game. Good. Single malts. Yeah, there, I mean, there's some beer in the game. Not really beer, but... Well, there is. It's just generic drank. Alright, a new trade. Oh, Beldar. Eldar. Ooh, he's buying wood for an increased price. All right. All right. I'll trade you lots of wood then. We also need to start making pottery. Got a lot of buildings under construction, or at least to be starting soon. Wait, Chocobo Racing from Final Fantasy VII? Talking about remakes? Well, I guess that's going to be, uh, you know, covered in the second game, the reunion one. Like part two. The building next to the graveyard is ready. Yeah, perfect. That is our forger that we're going to have go up to the uh, herbs. Move those blueberries over to our blueberry farms up in Blueberry Heights. Oh, yeah. Hmm. 
Chad, if we get to 500 likes, I feel like doing a giveaway today. Everybody smash that like button. If we hit the 500, I'll drop a, uh, I'm going to drop a key for a game, a building game right after the stream. Need for Speed Underground 2 is your favorite racing game? Man, some racing games are really good. They're almost timeless in many ways. I feel like I could go back to Gran even Gran like Turismo 2. Gran Turismo 2 or like 3 or any of the Need for Speeds or even Burnout. And just listen to the soundtrack and just turn off your brain and just like just mash into stuff. That's That's a cool way. That's a cool way to do it. Oh, a villager died to death by predators. Whoa. Must have been a swarm of wolves. Oh, actually, wait. That guy... Oh, he was going to get the uh, with the berry bushes. Damn you, wolves. Oh, well. More people shall move in soon. You play a racing game every day called Against Time. Yeah, mine's called uh, Get to the Microwave and Open the Door Before It Beeps. Otherwise, there will be a great shame. If you let the, micro if you let the microwave beep, you're a bad person. <laughs> oh no, the popcorn's almost done. One second remaining. You have to dive across the, uh, the, the granite <laughs> island on your way over to the refrigerator. Like, dive in front of the refrigerator. Like, do a roll around the refrigerator and get to that door for the microwave before time runs out. In your mind, you could put on the music from like, uh, you know, you could put on the music from like, um, what is it? Uh, what the hell was the name of that show? Oh, Double Dare. Like in your mind, this music will kick up a little bit. If you know, you know. And then that's when you're rushing through the living room, diving across the hallway and trying to rush to that microwave before it hits zero. Uh, Raptor, have you tried out infection-free zone yet? Well, I mean, there's only like four videos and a live stream on the channel. But I played it a little bit. Oh, you want that on speed two? With Keanu Reeves? Okay. Wrong way. That's too fast. That's better. Yeah. So anyway, that's your microwave music. Hit that bad boy before it hits one. All right. So. Oh, the berry bush crew is attack being attacked again. Bro, trying to recover this one berry bush has been. We've lost like two or three people over here due to these damn... Uh, actually, that guy's not dead yet, but he will be from rabies. Damn wolves. Wait, there must be another wolf den over there then. No, oh, no, there's more people getting rabies. No. That's right, we'll have a big wave of immigrants come through soon, I'm sure. Yeah, the berry uh, people need escorts, yeah. You know, one thing I like to do in this game is 
a good way to get rid of these damn uh, wolf dens is this. You can do this with minimal force. Here's what you do. You build a tower inside your town, like this one, for example, and then you tell the tower to, like, move, relocate building, and then you can put it, eh, you don't have to put it next to, but just put it, like, at higher ground to where the wolf den is, and then the people will build the tower here. When it's done, then they'll move it, and moving it is much faster than building it, so it'll get built pretty quick, and then to cover them, just tell your hunters to go around there and hunt, so it'll kill all the animals that are kind of going to attack them. And then when the tower is done, you can have the hunters still stay there and you can suppress the, uh, you know, the spawn rate of the, uh, of the den. And then you can also shoot at them from the tower. And then you can tell, like, one of the people, like, the hunters just to attack it. And then the tower will cover them. And then what you can do is leave the tower there because if you have it up on the top of a hill, any raiders that come by, one, you'll see them. And two, there's a bear. Wow. You know what that means. Bear eliminated. Good job. You have done it. And that's how to play Farthest Frontier. Any questions? Okay, cool. Well, there's no question that this game is fun. And we're going to be back to play this one sometime soon for sure. So let's go ahead and save here. And... That'll be self-explanatory for that save file. Did it save? There it is. Cool. All right. Well, that's going to be it for today's live stream, everybody. Farthest Frontier. I'll see you all in just a little bit where we're going to be playing something else with the Goof Troop. But, uh, yeah. So I'll send you all ready and waiting for that one. It might be the game that I'm going to send you to, but we might play something else. So thanks again for spamming that like button. Thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome to all our new members. And we'll be back for Farthest Frontier sometime soon. Smash that like button if you'd like to see more. And I'll see you ASAP. More streams coming up tonight.